Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pens. Today is a really special episode because we have a CEO and a co-owner of an American brand. But first, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that right now so you won't miss out on a video. All right, let's go back to our guest of this episode of the Top 3 Pen series because it is Jeffrey Felker. He's the CEO and co-owner of Retro 51, the amazing American brand. And we're going to ask him, what are his favorite Top 3 pens? Jeff, what are your favorite Top 3 pens? Well, with Retro, if anybody hasn't seen our pens, there's a lot to choose from. Um, I have a lot of different favorite ones. I have a lot on my desk, probably well, almost a hundred, probably pens on my desk. Um, but my favorite right now are three pens that um, are kind of more personal to me. Um, one, uh, anybody that does know me, or most of you probably don't know me, I'm into cars and I love carbon fiber. So. We just prototyped and we're going to be bringing into market probably next year, um, a carbon fiber. It's a forged carbon fiber, um, with black trim accents. And it's just, the camera does not do it justice. It's just absolutely a beautiful pen, just stunning. And it just feels so nice in your hand and writes so beautifully has great balance and the light catches it right. And it's just, it's just stunning. Um, we had really a great. few of these available at the San Francisco pen show and they sold very quickly. Um, and they were just our prototypes. The problem with carbon fiber is it's very expensive. Um, so this rollerball is going to be in the 225 type range in the U S dollars. Um, which is substantially higher than any of our other roller balls. So, um, but it'll be a smaller run type thing, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, the other pen that I have on my desk and that I write with quite a bit is our silver lining, which it's an acrylic fountain pen that was done for us. And um, the picture that is on the label is actually from a collector, uh, Mike Gafella who has a picture of this beautiful storm rolling in off of a Arizona highway. And it's just gorgeous. And it just, with the black and the grays just ties in perfectly. Um, this one, I believe um, has a medium nib on it and it's just, it's always on my desk and just, it's one of the first acrylics fountain pens that we've done and kind of got moved us back into the acrylic market and has, kind of brought forth just the desire to do more of them because acrylic is such a neat material to work with. And we've done some really cool things with it um, that will be coming up in the probably fourth quarter and next year, especially. Um, my third pen really is cool. one that we did as a popper in 2022 that while um, it kind of broke two rules uh, so the things that we found so far is car pens do not sell well and red pens do not sell well. So we did a red car pen. So, <laughs> um, however, um, I don't know if anybody's gotten the retro, but they all come in packaging similar to this in a tube and very satisfying when you open it, you mm -hmm. got that, um, so Cell phone, cell phone wrap on it, and then um, comes in a tube with it. Um, this one I had to grab out of our stock because uh, mine is in a box right now. But the reason this is kind of so mm -hmm. special to me is this is actually my brother. And we call it the first oh. ride because that was his first car was a 66 Mustang. And that's him in front of his first car. Um, he unfortunately passed away about 12 years ago. And um, we were working with a distributor, a uh, retailer, I mean, on a, an exclusive, and they decided not to do the exclusive. So I decided to do the pen kind of as a memorial to him because um, he loved that car. And um, But the pen is actually very beautiful. 
has the chrome trim, the grill aspect on it, the side louvers, there's some acid etching on it. Um, it's actually a very beautiful pen and like all retros, they write amazing. They have good weight distribution. Um, and while this pen didn't sell real great, they are still some available. We did 1,289 of them um, because that Mustang came with a 289 cc cubic inch engine. So we did 1,289 of them. And, you know, it was very special to me. And I was able to do this and he has two daughters and my parents um, are both still alive, which is a blessing. And I did a shadow box with all our pictures, a model car, this, the pen in it and everything and AP samples. So it was just very personal to me, but it's, it is a pen that I write with. Um, I have one at my desk at home. Um, that's why I had to open up one here. So now I have one here. It's a really, that's a really uh, special story, you know, that you can honor him in this way. It has the hubcap on the top disc. <laughs> yeah. That's really nice. And I give you a fourth pen because I want to, uh, I want you to tell about the, the pen that you bought, oh. uh, which make you buy, buy uh, Retro 51 at all. Yes. Um, so um, I was working for a very large co corporation and I, at the time, thought someone stole the pen off my desk. It was a black and uh, carbon fiber pen, which as I mentioned, I love carbon fiber and it disappeared. So I basically Googled all metal rollerball and found a stealth and the stealth is just an all black and can be lasered engraved. And I had it lasered engraved with my monogram on it, my name, so that no one would steal it off my desk. And <laughs> I got it in and started writing with it. And that was March of 2020. And was like, wow, this is a very nice pen for $30. And started doing some more research with the pen. And then ended up starting to talk to the owner in June of 2020 about purchasing the company and continuing the brand because he was going to close it at the end of 2020 with him when he retired after 30 years. Wow. So that pen that makes you, makes you buy the whole company. Yes. And I That's was able to do that because of my very loving and supporting and understanding wife who was like, okay, you <laughs> bought a pen. Now we're buying the company and moving to Dallas. I was like, if you would <laughs> like to, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really supportive indeed. All right, okay, wow. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for sharing these stories about your top three or actually top four pens. Yep. Uh, really, appreciate <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Everybody that's watching right now and haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that right now because next week we have another episode with another top three pens. Bye-bye. <laughs>